So, those are the knives. Let's have a look at some other weapons. I don't know if that's the right word, or the armory that we use in the kitchen as chefs, as cooks. Again, this course is not directed at people who wanted to be chefs, although it can help. This course really is, is based on anybody with a genuine desire to learn how to prepare food, how to cook food, and how to serve food. And I will, I will take you through the basic stages, probably starting off, as I mentioned already, with soups and stocks. Stocks are the foundation for which things like soups and sauces are based on. Again, we'll, I'll go through in some detail with you on that later on. So, other tools. Let's just go through a couple. Um, you might have seen one of these before. This is a, an egg slicer. So I'll just put that to one side. Let me just move the knives out of the way for a second. If you are carrying knives around, then now in the kitchen, for example, <coughs> I use this, which is a knife block. Very good. You've got all the slots there to put all the different knives in. For example, that goes in there. I put all the other different knives in there. If you're travelling about, perhaps you're doing some mobile cooking, then you could use a toolbox or one of these canvas bags, which are quite handy. Uh, I've used this quite extensively. Again, pulls over. You've got different slots where you can put your knives in, where you can put your different tools in, and everything slits in there, slips in there quite nicely. And you just want to just roll it up and away to go. So that's a can, what we call a canvas wrap, a canvas bag. Again, you can find these on the internet, you can find them in major catering businesses. So look at some other tools. Okay, so that one, as I showed you, is an egg, egg slicer. Very handy with hard boiled eggs, great when you use that for salads. Uh, this strange looking object, we just turn that around. That is a cheese slicer. You get some cheese and you pull it across the cheese, it gives a nice slice of cheese. Uh, some probably obvious implements you're used to seeing. Uh, that's a, an implement we use. Now you can actually use it to peel things like vegetables, carrots, etc, potatoes. But also you can get nice thin strips of things like courgettes and vegetables you're going to use for salads. So again, that's, that's multi-purpose. Uh, I've got a garlic crusher. Again, these come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, the garlic clove goes in there. You press that down and the, the, the crushed garlic comes out underneath. But I'll be showing you how to crush garlic the proper way. These are okay as a standby, but certainly you need to know the basics. So once you've learnt all the basics, then there's no problem in using things like these to take shortcuts. Other implements. This is a, what we call a chinois, conical sieve. You can see all the holes in there. Um, this is what we use when we use, or we use to make soups, or sauces, or gravies. When we want to pass, what we call pass the liquid into the conical strainer and push it through with the ladle. That's what we call pass, and again, I'll go through that at, uh, in some detail at a later stage. Other items I've got, this is what we call a potato ricer. Again, with this, you put the boiled potatoes inside, then you press it over and it squeezes out ready-made mashed potato, but very fine, no lumps at all. That's, uh, again, a very good uh, device. We've got ravioli cutters. Ravioli cutters again, different type. This hammer, rubber shaped hammer, this is for tenderizing meat. If you've got a particularly uh, tough piece of meat from a tough cut, usually a forward cut of, of meat, uh, this is handy for actually tenderizing it. Other things, I've got an apple corer. This is actually, now I've used this for years, 
This is actually a wallpaper remover, but I use this for burgers and for flipping over eggs. It's a very handy device. Um, uh, I've also got, again, some of these are quite straightforward. This is a great, but I've got to be careful with this because it's very sharp. Um, I have taken some skin off my fingers with this. This is great for, excuse the pun, grated things like palms and cheese, for grated things uh, like garlic, ginger, chilies. But when you're actually using it, this, the one way is, is quite rough. This is the way when I go away from me, uh, when it starts to grate and it is very, very sharp. And I have taken, as I say, some skin off my, uh, tops of my fingers with that one. Some of the tools, you might have seen these before. These are garnishing knives, Chinese garnishing knives. Again, I can show you how to use those at a later stage. Anything else I got left? Yes, a couple of other things. Uh, this is a handy little tool which I picked up uh, a couple of years ago. It looks like a, a vegetable peeler. But actually when you draw it across carrots or any other vegetables, it turns them into strips or julienne strips. This is another garnishing tool, which is quite handy. Useful with tomatoes, when you want to garnish tomatoes. 